with you some things you should not apply on your face you should not put on your face you know some of these things are things you probably have been using probably have been having skin reactions irritations on your skin and you don't know the cause because you just feel you're using the right things for your body so why should you have skin reactions on your face sometimes you just feel that oh you go with your skincare routine but you still have all of these things you know irritations happening in your skin so today i'm going to be sharing with you things that you shouldn't apply on your face because those are things that probably have been causing you all the skin reactions you have been experiencing before we go ahead to outline the things you shouldn't use on your face guys please if you're new i'm so happy to have you stop by please do well to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so please and turn on the notification bell to always be the first to get notifications when new videos are uploaded on the pretty heart tv Okay guys, so number one thing you should not do that we all are guilty of most times that myself was formerly guilty of is applying body lotion on your face. Your body lotion is meant for your body. Body lotion, lotions that are meant for the body on the face don't do it. It's not nice. Do not apply your body lotion on your face because some of the properties, the ingredients that are in the body lotion might be too harsh for your face and this can cause you to have acne on the face, irritation on the face that you might not know where it's cursing. So that is the reason you should not apply body lotion on your face. There are specific lotions for the face so do try out the ones that are best for you. For me I use Essential Fairness Protecting Face Cream. It's also for for sun protection it protects your face against the sun and I also I use this during the day when I'm going out and at night before I go to bed I use my aloe vera my aloe vera is very good I use it before I go to bed so the second thing you should not do is to use tablet soap don't use it on the face the one that is meant to be used for the body use it for the body and use the one that's meant for your face the reason you should not use the regular bath soap for your face is because it strips your face off its new trending to keep your face moist so there are specific wash for your face if you really want to have flawless skin if you really want to have skin that acne free you need to avoid using regular bath soap for your face you concentrate more on using wash for your face for me i use the pure skin two in one face wash and scrub whenever i get back I take off my makeup when I know my makeup is not in use again so I'm just going to link the video there this is one of the things I use taking off my makeup it is because it is meant specifically for your face and the third thing you should not do is do not use perfumes do not use hairspray for your face to set your face the reason you should not use perfumes or hairspray on your face is because there are specific alcohols that are not meant for your face that can cause you to have dry flaky skin can cause irritation acne pimple and all of that on your face you don't want that right fine it's a beauty arc that you, when you use it, it's going to serve the purpose of you know keeping your makeup on your face all through the day. But there is one thing you need to consider why you do the, most of the beauty beauty acts that are trending. You really need to consider you know the positive and the negative side of beauty acts before you go for them. If the negative outweighs the positive, you should not do it. But if it's otherwise fine you can go for it but when you're using your perfumes for your face it's going to keep your makeup fine but what's the outcome of it, it can cause you to start having reactions pimple and all of that do not use perfumes to spray your face it's not healthy your perfumes are meant for your body right they are not meant for your face no 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 invest in getting a certain spray because it's going to cost you more when you start having all the reactions on your face when the pimples start pepping out of your face all right guys so that's the third the fourth thing you should not apply on your face you should avoid 
hot water on your face. Sometimes when you're DIYing, what they mean when they say use hot water, they mean lukewarm water. Let the water not be hot, let it not be cold. When you dip your water and you feel the heat, it's hot. Do not use hot water on your face because it's going to cause you to have wrinkles, it's going to cause you to have leggy skin, dry skin, and it's going to strip your face of the nutrients that your face needs to remain young and healthy so that's number four number five thing you should not do to your face do not apply to your face is never ever use makeup products that do not outlist their nutrients now you want to know the content of what you're applying on your face so i'll challenge you next time when you go to a beauty store and you want to get makeup products take your time to go through the nutrients the properties contained in that makeup product before you get it any product brand that's hiding their nutrients from you you should not go for them because you deserve to know what you are applying on your face and the last and the best tips that cannot be overemphasized is <laughs> do not use expired products no matter how good it seems sometimes when products are expired they really look the same way product expires for reasons when a product has exceeded its expiration date the active ingredient in it becomes inactive that to say what the product was meant to do for you is not going to do for you it's going to cost you more harm than good so why go for it and say oh it's still the same way it was if you go to a drugstore you go to a store and you see products that at some weeks some days or a month so expiration know that they've been sitting there and aging all their life so don't go for such products and when you get products that are say six months or a year to expiration and you know you're not going to exhaust the products in that period setting up calendar reminder on your phone to tell you when the products you have will expire is a good way to prevent yourself from using expired product these are the six things you should not try applying doing to your face because you love your face so much your face tells a lot about you before anyone gets to know you so guys if there are any other things you think and you know you've researched that's not good to be applied on the face do well to drop down in the comment section below and do well to like this video if this video is helpful to you and comment below let me know your thoughts about this video do well also guys please share this video on all your social media platforms you never mind know who this video will just be helpful too i'll see you guys in my next video do subscribe before you check out bye bye